Hi, my name is Patrick and this is to tell you how to prepare for CAT 24 if you're starting your preparation from March 24, right? So basically nine months to go, um, enough time to prepare for CAT, but do make a plan and go over prepare. So here I'm making a broad plan. This is basically a four video series. So this video is just to make a broad plan as to how to go about planning in your overall preparation. Next, I'll make a video on quant, next DLR and next verbal. So basically three sections, verbal, DLR, quant. So recommended is first write a mock. And the idea of writing a mock is to help you understand a paper pattern. It's very important to know the paper pattern of the exam that you plan to write. So you can prepare based on what the exam questions could be asked. So you also come to know type of questions that come in the exam. Also important is to know your weak and strong area because when you're preparing, you need to focus on your weak area. Weak areas take a longer time to improve and therefore focusing on weak areas is important. Remember most of the colleges, good colleges do have sectional cutoffs. So which means you need to clear the sectional cutoff for your weak area. So this is a broad plan. So there are obviously some colleges without sectional cutoffs. But if I'm aiming for top colleges, then your weak area has to be improved up. So rounds of preparation. The first round of preparation, I would say completing the basic syllabus. You need to try to focus and complete a syllabus, which I would put into four months duration, March, April, May, June. During this four month period, try to complete the syllabus. Okay. Focus is to understand this fundamentals. Don't go too deep. Don't go into tougher sums. Focus and try to understand the fundamentals during these four months cover one round of syllabus so you know exactly what is there, what is not there, you know which topics are comfortable, which topics are not comfortable. So that in the next rounds you can know which areas to focus on and which areas not to based on your target in terms of clearing the cutoffs etc. So this is the first round of preparation. Second round of preparation will be revision. I mean your July 24, one month. So whatever areas that you were not comfortable in the first round or you feel was tough, maybe you can look at that. Revise those topics in the first round. Ideally, we say in the first round, focus on fundamentals. Second round, any topics not comfortable, revise that as such. And the last round would be remaining from August onwards where you focus on practice plus mocks. Okay, so you, the question that you are practicing so far during syllabus was concept based questions. Now you focus on application based questions. So go to mocks, write the mocks, look at the type of question that are asked in mocks and practice those questions. One of the one more key important area right now is to analyze the mocks and identify areas to improve. Because you will always have areas that you're good at and areas you want to improve and maybe some areas which you want to ignore. So focus on areas and improve and practice those so that you can improve that accordingly. Right? So these are broad methods of how to solve. Also in this step, you need to also focus on getting better methods to solve. Because what you solved for concept based questions may not work in application based questions. So methods has to be changed. For that your fundamentals has to be good remember that right so go ahead with those plans uh, we do run courses for cat and other examination that will help you with regards to preparation right thank you and all the best